Hey there, Nick Jutakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to do some basic math on the command line using both the BC tool as well as POSIX compliant expressions in your shell. For example, you know, let's say that we want to add some numbers here. So we can use double parentheses here to evaluate this expression, which is going to be POSIX compliant. We'll get back four. We can also use some multiplication here. And then also we can use other operators too, like the modulus operator to get the remainder of uh, a number here. And we can see that we get back one. Nice. And uh, let's say though that you don't just want to echo this out, like maybe you want to have one of these evaluate to a variable and then you can use that variable later. So cool, we can do something like, I don't know, value is going to be our variable name here. And let's just do something here. Let's say uh, five minus three, cool. And then that's going to be our variable. And now let's say that we want to do another expression here and do something with that variable, right? So we can do something like value and then we can just add one to it here. So let's see what the result of that one is going to be, which will be three, right? You know, five minus three is two. And and then we're just adding one to that, that is going to be three. You know, we can add uh, 10 to that instead, and then we'll get 12. Nice, okay, cool. So, you know, that's the basics of using this expression here, but there are some limitations. For example, you know, let's say that we want to do some multiplication here, and let's just say we're gonna, you know, multiply two times, I don't know, 225, uh, something like that, right? This would give us some form of a decimal point here. And in this case, yeah, it actually does work. We get 4.5 uh, or 4.5 here. And that only works because I am using Z shell. Now, there may be other shells that also support this, but if you're using shell or bash, you're actually gonna get an error if you try to run that. So let's just try to rerun that same command here in bash here and see what we got. So we are going to get an, uh, an exception here. So yeah, syntax error. And uh, yeah, we just can't do that. So, you know, let's say you want to deal with decimal points in, you know, an OS compatible way. Uh, what do you do? Well, you know, there are ways to hack around this using other tools, but you know, the BC tool is a pretty popular tool to do some basic arithmetic on the command line. You know, that's B as in Brontosaurus, C as in Cantaloupe, basically the BC command. It may be available by default on your distro or whatever operating system that you're running. If not, you should be able to find it in your package manager. For example, you know, you can apt install BC. So let's see how BC works here. So I already have it installed clearly. Uh, but yeah, let's just say we want to do some basic math, maybe two plus three minus four, whatever it happens to be here, we can see we get one. Uh, you know, we can also uh, chop out the quotes here and basically just uh, remove the spaces here. And that's also going to work, which is pretty nice here. You know, like the other example that we saw before, yep, we can do, uh, the modulus operator as well, you know, and then we should get back one here. And then again, this also works too, if you drop the quotes here and uh, remove the spaces. Nice. And uh, again, you know, if you want to use some variable action, uh, it's no different than basically any form of setting variables in a shell. So for example, we can do BC here, and then we can do, I don't know what, like three times five, let's say, and then, uh, yeah, we can just echo out this value just for now, right? Just to make, keep things a little bit basic here. But yeah, we'll get back 15 there. Everything is good to go. And again, you know, I'm just writing these on the command line, but if you have a bigger shell script, you know, you can start dropping these things into your script to do a little bit more complication or more complicated uh, use cases here. But yeah, we can also do something like this where we can do, you know, one divided by four, and that's going to give us zero, which is kind of interesting because we should get uh, 0.25, right? But now the good thing about BC is there's a number of ways we can deal with decimal points. For example, if you just add the dash L flag here, you know, right away we get maybe the expected result here, which is going to be, you know, 0.25 with uh, a whole lot of different decimal places there. It actually defaults to 20 decimal places by default. So if you were to count those up, that would be 20. But let's say like, you know what, I don't really need 20 decimal pl uh, points of precision. You know, maybe I just need three or something like that. So you can do that as well. So for example, uh, we can do scale equals three here and then one divided by four, and that's going to give us our 0 0.250. And if you wanted, you know, six uh, precision, then we can do that. And it's as easy as that to tweak things like this. So typically, yeah, I'll reach for using the BC command in a number of my scripts here. You know, there is this one invoice script that I created quite a few years ago to help calculate amounts due to clients that I have. I've done videos about that one in the past, but yeah, that's using the BC command in quite a few spots here to do some uh, multiplication and adding some numbers together. So there's quite a few different use cases for this, of course, you know, depending on what you want to do. But yeah, this is a quick video just on doing some basic math on the command line. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.